you're going through some dark nights of the soul. Things are so dark. Well, just remember the dark is out. It's just before dark. Maybe a friend, someone you love and trust, someone you respected, they disappointed you. Not only just disappointed you, but disappointed you badly. Yeah. And it's dark. Yes, Maybe you're sick. Yeah. I'm not talking about something that a Tylenol you need. It's something real sick. Yes. And you can't see it anyway. Right, so it's dark. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe uh, our seniors, as we grow older, and, and it seems like we get tired, and we're not young as we've been being. Right, right. Stairs or steeple is seen. And, yeah. and people don't want to talk wrong and they don't talk loud enough right. sons and daughters are living way from you and they don't seem to come home as much as they do right. it's dark now. Yeah. Right now maybe you young and trying to cope with school yeah. trying to cope with your parents right. trying to cope with growing up yeah. and your peer groups yes, and they, they tell you everybody else is doing it but you trying not to do it all right. All right. and they tell you you might as well but can I tell you that's a lie from the devil yeah. But you hear it all the time, everybody else is doing it, so you might as well do it. Let me tell you, it's dark. Yes. Maybe you let yourself down. Yes. Maybe you let your church down. Maybe you let God down himself. Right. And you're sorry yes. that you did, but you don't know how. Yes. And you don't know what to do. It's dark. Can I tell you, can I tell you a heart that never despairs? Right. When I have much to preach about. Yes. Well, a heart that's never been broken. Right. We'll never adequately sympathize with somebody. Right. Somebody hard that has been broken. Right. A heart that has never walked in the valley of the shadow of death. Yes. Yes. Cannot really appreciate right. what you're going through if you're going through the shadow. Yes. A heart that never suffered right. the awfulness of a depression. Yes. Right. Cannot possibly appreciate the joy of the freedom. Yes. Anyway, the point is, in the darkness, whatever kind it is, whether it's physical or whether it's spiritual, whether it's depression, whether it's despair or loneliness, can I tell you, it's not all bad. Because in every kind of darkness, God said that we're more than a spare. Oh, they got all right here. Well, I feel the help coming in this thing. They tell me in 1905, a Canadian by the name of Sybil Martin. She had a husband they visit the United States of America. And they went down to some people they named by the name of Mr. and Mrs. Doodaloo. Well, they found out that Mrs. Doodaloo has been on a bed for 20 long years. Mr. Doodaloo, he was going around in a wheelchair. But they still was excited and they still had joy. And they, uh, you know, you know, curious as she was, Mrs. Martin said, "How can y'all be going through what you're going through, but you still have joy?" Oh, yeah. y'all all right here. Well, Mrs. Doolittle looked at her and said, "God is on the spell, and I know He watches over me." Oh, y'all all right here. And Mrs. Martin was so set back with what she just heard. So she went back to Canada and began to write a song. She says, I is on the sparrow. And I know, I know, I know he watches over me. Well, I, I'm really going to receive him, y'all. But I want to tell you, I heard of another story. I heard it came from a young man by the name of Reverend Ben Cole of a Mississippi Mass Choir. He told a story about one day there was a man or a young boy that had a cage of wild birds. And I want to think, I want to think that these birds were sparrows. Ain't God all right here? And he asked, that man asked the young boy, what are you going to do with those wild birds? And the young boy said, well, I'm going to play with them. And then I'm going to kill each one of them. But the young son, the man said, no, son, please don't do that. What would you take from the birds? And the boy said, well, I'm going to make a killing off of this thing. You need to give me a dollar piece for those birds. And God, all right here. And I hear the man say, well, you got a deal here. 
and he paid the price for the bird. Well, the bird is a one story.